Hello. In this video, I am going to show you how to take control of your Microsoft Outlook inbox. We're going to start with how your Outlook inbox looks when you first open it. If you come up and click the View tab at the top of your screen, you have some options in here that you can choose depending on how you want to view your inbox. First, I like to have the Show as Conversation box checked off. This arranges your messages in conversation as opposed to individual messages. You can choose to apply this rule to a specific folder or all of your mailboxes. Once you click OK, it adds a drop-down menu next to any email that has a thread. So for example, if I click this arrow, it will show me the conversation that has been going on in that email thread. It will help just to clean up your inbox and not make it feel so cluttered. Another setting you can adjust in the View tab is turning off your focused inbox. So here, if you uncheck focused inbox, it will put all of your messages in one inbox and then your other category would be unread. Remember, these are just suggestions to help you to clean up your inbox. Next, I'm going to show you how to set a conditional format to help ensure that a specific message stands out from other messages. In your inbox, click on a message that you want to change the formatting for. This way that message specifically stands out. Conditional formatting can be applied to a specific person that sends you an email or a specific subject line. There are many different options. So I'm gonna begin with wanting to conditional format this message from this specific sender. So I'm going to click on this message and then the view tab at the top of my screen in the menu bar. Then view settings. Come down to where it says conditional formatting. Here you will notice that there are already preset rules that are applied to your inbox. You may notice that if you have an unread message, it shows up differently in your inbox than a read message. Here you can drill down and edit these specific rules, but for today's purposes, I'm going to show you how to set your own conditional formatting. First thing you wanna do is click Add. Now you want to give this conditional format a title. I'm going to name this from Teresa DiMatteo because I want these specific messages to stand out in my inbox. Now I can drill down and change the font, size, and color for when these messages come in. This allows these messages to really stand out in your inbox. Now I need to set the condition for when this specific setting will apply. So click condition, and here you have a lot of choices that you can drill down into, but for today's purposes, I want to set this to apply to any message coming from Teresa DiMatteo. I'm going to click from, and then I'm going to search for Teresa DiMatteo. Click enter, and now I can double click on her name and it shows up here in the From box. Click OK, and then OK one more time. And now I have set the conditional format to show every message from Teresa DiMatteo to show up in this font style. Come down and click OK, and then OK one more time. And you can see that conditional format was applied immediately because now if I scroll my inbox, any message from Teresa DiMatteo that was sent shows up in red in the font style that I chose. You can use this in many different ways. Next tip to help clean up your inbox. If you flag a message, it will automatically add that message to your task or to-do list, and then you can archive that message so it gets removed from your inbox. Let me show you how. If I click the flag next to this very important message here that was sent for me to schedule a meeting and I don't want to forget to do it, but I want this email out of my inbox, I need to click this little flag here next to the message and then I can right click 
and click Archive, or I can click Archive in the Home tab menu at the top of the screen. If I go to the left-hand column and click on the Tasks icon, you can see here that now that email is in my task list. If you want to be able to see your task list on your main Outlook screen, come up to where it says View, then click To Do Bar, and click next to where it says Tasks. You can see that I already have clicked on my calendar to do bar view, which shows up on the right hand side of my screen. So I can see my appointments for the day and my schedule for the day at all times when I'm checking my email. If you click tasks as well, now your tasks will also show up there on your main view. Here's that email that I flagged in my to-do list. And once I complete this task, I can either right click here and then check off Mark Complete, or I can go back to the task list icon on the left-hand navigation bar, click on that task, and then click Mark Complete from here. It will remove that task from my to-do list. If you receive an email that requires you to take some time to complete, a good trick is to take that email and drag it into your calendar icon so you can block off some time to get that task done. It will remove the email from your inbox and it will block off the time in your calendar for you to be able to complete that task successfully. If you click and drag the email on top of the calendar icon, so you're click dragging and holding that email on top of your calendar icon and then let go. It will automatically pop open this window box with the information from that email. You can choose here the date and time that you want to block off so you can complete that task. I suggest using the scheduling assistant so you can see where you have the time to be able to complete that task. Block off the amount of time you need. Once you have that date and time blocked off to complete the task, click save and close. And now that task has shown up on my calendar and I can archive this message to remove it from my inbox. The final tip for staying in control of your inbox is to create rules. First, I'm going to show you how to create an inbox rule by using an email that you already have in your inbox. Click on the email that you want to create the rule for. Then click the Home tab in your menu bar at the top of your screen, and then click Rules in the middle. Once I click that, this rule is a quick rule because it says always move messages from sender of the email. Once I click that, it asks me where I want to send those specific messages. If you already have a folder created, you can click on that folder, but don't worry if you don't because you can create a new folder right here. So I'm gonna click new, and I'm going to name that folder OOI, Office of Information. So all of the emails that come in from Office of Information will directly be placed in this folder. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that folder has been created and is highlighted and now I'm going to click OK. And immediately all of those Office of Information emails have been pulled out of my inbox and placed directly into that folder I created. Here are all of my Office of Information emails. You can also create an inbox rule by clicking on the email again, then click Rules, and then Create Rule. When you create the rule this way, it gives you a lot more options for how you want this rule to be set. For this specific rule, I want a sound to be played every time I receive an email from this specific person with this specific heading. So I'm going to check off from Teresa DiMatteo with the subject that contains what the tech. I'm going to remove the date. So now I'm coming down here, choosing play a selected sound.
So that will be the sound I hear every time a What the Tech email comes in from Teresa DiMatteo. Now, you could also choose to not have it be from a specific person and only a subject. Again, this is very specific to your needs and how you want to organize your inbox. So let's click OK. Keep in mind that some rules you create will only run if Outlook is running and open. So if you see this alert, don't worry. Just click Run This Rule Now on Messages Already in the Current Folder and click OK. You can always manage the rules that you've created by going back into the Home tab and then clicking Rules drop down again and here clicking Manage Rules and Alerts. If you click that, you can see here that all of the rules that I have created are here. I can choose to delete them. I can change those rules. And here I could really drill down into the specific features that I have chosen for each rule. As always, I wanted to show you the same steps in the Microsoft Outlook web version. So again, here in the web version, I want to organize my inbox. First, I want to remove the focused inbox. So I'm going to click View and then View Settings. And the first option that comes up is Don't Sort My Messages. And then I am going to choose that and click Save. That will remove the focused and other inbox and just create one inbox here for me, which I prefer. I also want to make sure that my emails are in conversation view. So again, if you click view and then messages right next to view settings and then conversations, you can see here that already my emails are grouped into conversations. So that means I can see the entire email thread if I click the drop down arrow they do not show up as individual messages, which helps me to clean and organize my inbox. Conditional formatting is not an option in the Microsoft Outlook web version. However, rules are. So I'll show you how to create a rule using your Microsoft Outlook web version. Once you are in your inbox, if you click the three dots all the way to the right of the screen and then scroll down to rules, you can click Create Rule or Manage Rules. If I click into Manage Rules, you can see here that the rules I created on my desktop application did transfer over to the web version. However, as you can see here, because I created this rule to make a sound when I received a specific message, that rule will only be available in the desktop application, not the web version. So it's letting me know that here. However, the rule that I made regarding the Office of Information Messages being moved into the specific folder was transferred over here. In order to create a rule from a specific message, you can either right click on that message and then scroll down to Advanced Actions and then Create Rule. Or you can click on that message and click the three dots up on the top right and click scroll down to rules and then click create rule. Here it's going to say always move messages from SharePoint online to this folder. It says SharePoint online because that is the sender that sent this specific email message to me that I want to move into a folder. Now I don't have a specific folder created here so I'm going to click create new folder and I'm going to name that SharePoint news and then click save once you create that new folder, good practice on the web version is to click cancel, refresh. Now I can see that folder has been created on the left hand side over here. So now I can set the rule, go back to the message, right click, click create rule and go to more options. Here you can drill down into the specific actions you want to set for this rule. So any email coming from SharePoint online, I want to set the action to move to that specific folder. So I want to find that folder, which is right here, SharePoint News. Once I have all my conditions set, I can run that rule now and then click Save. 
And again, here you can now see that rule being run. And let's go into my inbox. So all of my inbox has been scanned and one email has been moved into that folder since it fit that criteria. Another action you can add to your rules is to mark that message as read once it's moved into the folder. So come down and click mark as read, then again run that rule now and then save. So it is scanning my inbox and now all of my SharePoint news emails are in this folder I created and have been marked as read. Now you know how to take control of your Microsoft Outlook inbox. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech Tip. See you then.